Okay, YouTube, uh, I've been hoarding onto this plexiglass for golly. Uh, Hi. <laughs> uh, for about three years now <laughs> because I, it's raining. I was going to work on the log loader motor, but um, I'm not going to right now while it's raining. So um, I'm going to make a new plexiglass window for, for that door that's all cracked. And then I'm gonna make one for that missing window there. And I had enough, I originally was gonna make one for the either the side window that's cracked right there, um, or the back window that's cracked, but I'm just gonna leave the glass because um, plexiglass fogs up and glass doesn't and cracks, I'll just get over them for now. So anyways, that's what's on the list today. George and I are gonna take a little jigsaw and attempt to cut the plexiglass without snapping the crud, crud out of it. So we'll see how it turns out. Okay, YouTube, it's starting to rain, so it's just gonna be a quick one, but I got uh, some RTV on my gasket, the light coating on the, on the, it looks kinda crappy in the camera there, a light coating on the back here, and uh, got that wire wheeled, and you see it's pretty pitted, but it's all wire wheeled and scraped. Um, got new coppers for these bolts, and I'm gonna put a little bit of silicone on the threads here too. Um, and then uh, get that, that's where the throttle, it's a throttle assembly. Get that bolted on here so I can put water in this thing and make sure it doesn't have no leaks. Okay, uh, it's pouring down rain. And, uh, but I got that sucker on, so no real video for it, but see the never season there's, or the RTVs in there, and I'm going to button this sucker up. Okay, say hi, George. Hi. <laughs> All right, YouTube, I got, uh, look at that. Ooh, it's, it's been rub rubbing on that for a while. We just filled it up with water. Yeah, so this thing's full of water uh, to check for leaks. There's no leaks. Um, the radiator is, uh, see they patched the housing here on this side. Same thing on the other side in there. Well, it said broke and so it's sagging. So I'm gonna fix that, um, but there's no leaks. Um, this is kind of hokey, but it originally, this is a radiator hose that goes up to the, in the back for the heater and it was just stuffed right on this and kind of kinked and so I put a 45 there and then this is some like a barbed fitting off of like a it's chrome I think it came off like a I don't know what some rig someone probably an old small block Chevy or something for the heater core hose but yeah no no uh, actual water leaks I pulled the drain pan plug because I was paranoid that water would come out but nice and dry so, uh, yeah, now I guess what I'm probably going to do is bolt the starter on and then hopefully make some battery cables later. But it'd be nice to get that starter on out of the way from rolling on the floor of the shop and then maybe I can get that, this side here, you can see it's all broke right there, like it's all welded, but if, see that? So, um, I'll fix that and put the starter on today. Probably call it a day with this, but. Oh, and I did, I didn't ever make a follow up video, but I did cut the plexiglass. You can see it's sitting right there. It's not broke, that's just the film they put over it to protect it. Um, the, both plexiglass is cut for that. Oh. I'm sorry, George. And then the plexiglass for that window. That The camera doesn't really show, but it's all bubbly from the exhaust, from the door staying open and the exhaust blowing on it. So there, they're uh, getting some progress done on it. Okay, got the starter all wire wheeled and all the grease knocked off of it. The bolts that were on it were this one, this one here, and this one, which was a pain in the butt because these are probably the original ones. Uh, because you can't, when this one's, the starter's engaged, you physically cannot get a wrench on this one at all. And I think that one was really tough. I remember that one I had to do like an eighth of a turn at a time. 
uh, when it's bolted to the motor like that. So uh, what I'm going to do is in my nut and bolt bin here, I have these 5 8 bolts actually let's roll along this one's right here so I'm gonna run just all Allen head uh, bolts so and I got the half inch drive tools you know uh, right here to get onto them so that's what I'm gonna do I can just use an extension should be quite a bit easier so let's get the starter bolted on all right YouTube I uh, making new battery cables for uh, the log loader, use my little tool in the press here, it just goes in here, put them in there and then you press down and it crimps down on them, puts a pretty good crimp on them. Pretty happy with that tool. I went and uh, cut all the, cut all the uh, shrink wrap here, all the same length so they'll all match and look good. Okay YouTube, I got the uh, battery cables done. Um, I got a positive wire to the starter solenoid and everything's shrink wrapped, not electro taped. Um, and then I got from my negative post over to my battery disconnect switch. From my battery disconnect switch, loops down underneath, bolts to the block. And then uh, from the block, it goes down to the frame. Um, this is all two gauge battery cable. So it's definitely more than adequate. And uh, not really happy with how this part turned out. Um, I realistically could have done from the frame to this hole, um, cause it's all tied together. But um, just how I decided to do it, I wanted everything from the block. And uh, this bracket was actually the uh, voltage regulator uh, bracket that I drilled a three quarter inch hole in and used this uh, battery disconnect switch off of the Peterbilt when I switched it over so they were all matching. This was the oddball. So I put this on here and uh, turned out pretty nice. I'm glad glad with uh, the way it turned out. Um, I definitely don't really like how long these cables are but I wanted them extra long so that taking them on and off they weren't constantly bending. Um, so that and if I ever had to put new ends on I could. But yeah, there it goes. The starter's on, battery cable's on, battery disconnect switch is on. And uh, I also, I can't remember if I've made a video or not, but I got the, the uh, this is actually gonna have a bracket come down. Probably make a bracket to hold it underneath. Probably, probably go underneath this cable. But uh, this is the heater core hose. Goes up to the heater in the engine, or in the cab. Got that on. It's got water in it. I can't remember if I told you that or not. Um, no leaks. So yeah, I'm excited. It's slowly but surely coming together. I still gotta put this on. This is the, they call it the slobber tube. Um, from if the blower leaks a little bit of oil into the air box in here, it usually goes with the ground. But being that this is in a truck that goes on the highway, um, I imagine they just don't want oil dripping. So they probably had it hosed, but that was a factory factory deal. The hose isn't, someone ruined this little tubing, but into the pan there was a factory deal. So I'll just put another rubber hose there with some, with some uh, hose clamps, just like that. So I'll be done. Anyways, there she goes. Talk to you guys later. Have a great weekend and stay safe, have fun.